Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be going over how Shadow Snorlax or regular Snorlax is one of the best safe swaps for the Master League in the open or Premier wherever it's going to be doing great. Now Snorlax is also going to be good for the Ultra League and you can even use it for the Great League and it's going to be you know squishier there granted because it's uh, you know it's got a big combat power sitting in the Great League it's going to be taking a lot of damage same with everything else in that category. Guts tons of moves. You got a diverse set of moves that you can choose from. I've ran into a couple of Earthquake ones, never really a heavy slam. You could also have Return if you did Purify Your Shadow, which is going to also be getting stabbed and doing a ton of damage. So Snorlax has got a lot of options. Having Lick and Body Slam, it's his primary moves that you're going to be using, as well as Super Power. Absolutely amazing. It's great. So not only is it a tank, but it's Shadow, so it is, you know, it's taking more damage, but it's its tankiness is kind of helping you in that regard, and it is not going to be as squishy as other Shadow Pokemon could potentially be here. We're going to be pairing it up with Primarina and Excadrill again here. Now, taking a look at some of my other Shadow Snorlaxes, I have some pretty good ones. I did find this one later on, which would be a higher combat power than the one that I'm currently using, but I'm perfectly happy with the one that I do have here. Uh, I actually I also have a 0%. <laughs> I've got that uh, 1 15 15 as well, which is pretty freaking crazy and uh, 0% look at that All right, and I'm keeping it because it's actually a pretty big trophy All right folks with that said if you do enjoy my videos if you can please hit that thumbs up button It is much appreciated here Excadrill really putting in the work. I could have totally made it It's gonna here <laughs> spoiler alert Excadrill is getting his video next. Okay <laughs> next battle We got a mirror match and we love to see that pre marina Swapping into Goldingo, and like we discussed, you can let that Shadow Ball go. But if they go for the Focus Blast, obviously they're going to one-shot you. So you kind of need to make that call yourself here. I'm personally going to go ahead and shield it up, seeing that I think I'm going to outpace them here. Alright, beautiful. Now, it will KO because of the quick move damage that we have done at this point. And we're taking down the Goldingo using one shield, and they're bringing back that Pre-Marina. And it is super effective with Waterfall, but we're not going down before we get off a Drill Run, which is doing a ton of damage to that Primarina. And I think we're going to want to go in here with our own. Yeah, you know, Fairy's still going to be doing neutral to Oh, we go Snorlax. Makes sense. Nice. All right. So they bring in their Excadrill here. And we'll let the first Drill Run go. No problem at all. Next one we could let go, but we're not trying to get that low. We're going to play it safe. And we go straight for the superpower, immediately swap, and we take that win as they do back out. They did not like that superpower coming from Snorlax. Next battle. All right, we got a Dragonite. Great. Now, look, I'm going to be switching up the teams here. Don't worry. This is from the five-hour co-battle day that I did here. So we've still got some more videos to chop up with the same team that I used. Another Goldingo. All right, letting that go. We're going to go ahead and let this go as well. Shadow Ball is going to, it's not going to KO. We survive like we've discussed. Looking good. Shadow Ball or Dragon Breathing us down. And that's perfectly fine because we're just going to be bringing back Primarina. Unless they do have Hurricane. We did shield up a Hurricane from a Dragonite at one point in time. Don't know if we're going to showcase that, but it was uh, perfect. All right, so we'll let this go as well. Superpower, and it ends up doing quite a bit of damage at the end of the day. Almost to Hydra Pump, but we're going to go ahead and just throw the Disarming Voice, swap into our Snorlax, and we're looking pretty good here. All we have to really do is technically get to two superpowers, and we'll be able to take the win. The second one, even if the first one is shielded up after dropping our attack, is going to be enough to take them out. But they're letting it go and calling it, but at this point, we're just going to simply keep going Body Slam. And Pre-Marina's Charm is resisted, but we're still going to be doing enough to take them out, if so happened to lose this matchup here, but we're going to shield the Snorlax up so we can go ahead and just keep on hitting him with ball. I think I just licked them down here. Yeah, nah, that's it. Looking good. Moving on to our next opponent. What are we going to see with that Primarina? Another one. You know what it is. Show me that waterfall. This is why I'm telling you it is one of the best for the leads, but you definitely have to have coverage for your weaknesses, which are going to be steel. If you're running charm if you're wearing waterfall it's kind of a whole nother beast going on there so they're going to be shielding up the disarming voice we're going to go ahead and do the same so we can maintain the health but we necessarily didn't really necessarily need to do that we would have been at around the same but here's why because they get to another one so maybe they stuck at a waterfall i think they get to two anyways all right what are they going to bring into the battle here we're still looking good oh that's not good for us so they're bringing in Gyarados and Gyarados does not want anything to do with Primarina, but they're using their last shield So now we're looking pretty good. No problem. So we've seen a water type in the front another water type here So I think Excadrill should be good in the back, right? I think I think we should be okay. Watch there be two 
or three water types. And Polion next. All right, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and farm them down. We're not going to... I don't think we shield this up. Yeah, we want to hold on to that shield for Excadrill. You never know what's back there. So we swap into it. And what we're going to do is shield this up and farm them down for all this energy. And whatever's back there, it's over. They, they lose. I mean, what do you? What can run from this energy <laughs> accumulation from Excadrill? And it's at their own Excadrill. And they back out. We take that win. We're moving it on to the next one. What are we going to see this time? A good old Dragonite. You love to see it. Are they going to stay here? They're swapping into Caesar. Okay, that kind of threw me off. We should have probably... Uh, maybe one Excadrill. Maybe. Ground is not super effective because of the bug typing. But it's still doing a decent amount. Because, you know, Pokemon Go, right? Uh, so... You know, we're not going to go super power because I want to keep doing more damage or at least the same damage that we're doing with Lick. And that's still doing a whole heck of a lot anyways, that body slam to these steel types. So we're taking that win. They're bringing back their Dragonite and Snorlax going strong. Safe swap. And then it keeps on giving them trouble. It is amazing. And then when you have legendaries going up against Giratina is real fun. So they make a swap, and we immediately bring in our Excadrill, knowing that we want to keep that Pre-Marina alive. Uh, and it is going to be a Gyarados with Waterfall. So what we're going to do here is kind of like burn off their shields. We are going to get to another one here. It's going to be close, and we do. Beautiful. And uh, this should burn off their last shield here, and we're looking pretty good. There's really nothing that that Gyarados can do to this Pre-Marina, to be honest with you. They can keep on spamming, I don't know, Crunch and Aqua Tail, but that's pretty much it. And it's not very effective, but it will start adding up. So we are going to go ahead and hit them with the Disarming Voice. And we don't really need to worry about getting to a charge move with the Dragonite because it's going to be going down so fast with Charm anyways. So we let that go. Oh, I think this is the one that I remember when I said, ah, I shielded up Hurricane. There it is. Look at that. One in a million. Or should I say like one in a hundred? I'd never run into a Hurricane user. So thank goodness we did shield that up and not try to flex. Gyarados Lee, great Lee. Good job. Let's go. All right. <laughs> I hope you're all having a good day. I'm having a blast. I'm having a blast. Every day is a good day if you're feeling healthy. My gosh, it really, it really puts it into perspective after you go through some like you know, sickness. Like damn, then you start appreciating it for a little while if you even do, and then you just completely just forget about it. But I kind of make sure I always remember. Anyways, what's going on here? Toga kiss. All right, no shields have been used. Probably going to go Excadrill. They immediately swap into their own. So I think we're pretty much at the same energy. I have, may have one quick move before them. Nope, we're tied. Big old Snorlax coming in and blocking the road, if you, as you've just seen there. And we're going to go ahead and uh, do a little bit of a catch on that drill run. We can even let this next one go here and threaten them with a superpower, which is going to be getting their last shield. I think they may be able to quick move us down if they shielded that up. I think they could have, and it would have been able to help them there. But we still have two shields. They got a Togekiss, and that's a wrap. We take that win, and we keep it moving here on to our next opponent. A lot of cowboys out here with these cowboy hats, huh? All right, we got a Togekiss. So, right, we've seen this before. Get to the disarming voice before they can get to their ancient power, and then we let it go. Depending. Let's see if they shield this up. I kind of feel obligated to shield up too. Actually, no. Since they shield it up, it's even better that we let this go. All right, yeah, let it go. All right, great. Now, what we can do is go Ex Excadrill, farm up a little bit extra, or we can bring in Snorlax and farm them all the way down here. Mmm, look at that. They have one HP. Ancient Power, we'll let it go, no problem at all. Look out for Focus or Aura Sphere. And they're bringing in a Machamp. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of an issue seeing that we have Excadrill in the back. All right, we're getting the last shield. We got two. We're building up to enough energy to go for either charge move on the Snorlax and then bringing in Excadrill here. Um, almost wanted a top left, but it's not over until it's over. So let's see what we have going on here. This is really a challenge. So yeah, we're, we're in a bad position. Absolutely have to shield this up and try to outpace them at this point. Thought they were going to try to catch a drill run. And that looks like they were trying to do something. Swapping into Metagross. So what we're going to do is build up to two so we can just simply go for another one. As soon as, oh my gosh, it's not enough to KO. Oh my goodness. You got to be kidding me. I was pissed. So I didn't throw because we needed that. Snorlax. Oh my goodness, buddy. And we get to the box slam. This is why Snorlax is the best, folks. You better believe it. Good old Totoro. Totoro. However you say it, Totoro. I remember watching that, renting it at the store, like in 1990, like six or something like that. Like before it was mainstream ever, you know, way before. I hate the remake with with the, the I don't know, the, the, the Dakota, whatever. I can't stand that remake. 
Oh my good. I remember watching my somebody sent me it. Sorry, we'll get back into the battles here. <laughs> but uh, somebody sent me this copy of Totoro. It's like remastered by Disney. Anything Disney gets their hands on turns to shit. Quite literally, I, I was really sad when I heard they were buying up uh, Lucasfilm and Star Wars. It's like, okay, okay. <laughs> and now they even own Aliens franchise. But um, no, so somebody sent me this old or this new remake and I just garbage. I was like, what? Am I going crazy or something? And I asked him, is this a remake? And I saw it and it said, and I looked it up and people, you know, said, yeah. And he said, yeah. And I was like, oh my goodness. And then I watched the old one after it took me forever to find it original. You kidding me? It's like they're trying to scrub it. It is so satisfying to watch the original one. Yeah, that's good old days. Anyways, what's going on here? A little story time there. The original, to moral of the story is the original Totoro movie uh, dubbed is way better than the remake one. Yeah, oh yeah. Next battle, we have an Excadrill. Finally, something horrible. <laughs> We've been getting great lead after great lead after great lead after great lead. Believe me, I'm cutting out the hard rock, paper, scissors for a lot of those. All right. <laughs> we win a lot too. I had to really cut out even wins, to be honest with you. We were sitting on about an hour and a half video of wins, but that's not happening. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've still got to do my battles here. All right, so we're taking that win with that Snorlax safe swap, baby, and actually getting to the superpower. This is why it's the best safe swap here. Look at that. Oh, still causing havoc with one HP. Almost one shotting with one HP. All right, so they're bringing in that Dragonite, and this is a wrap. I mean, you know, do they even stay here until the end? I mean, you got to commend them, I guess. Yeah. See, I think they don't want to leave because in order to collect our rewards, you have to stay for the ticket that you bought. Okay. Hacksaw is shiny for the next battle. What do we got here? Well, we already all know this is a fantastic yeah, well, you know, lead. So we'll just hold tight. Don't want Snorlax or Excadrill going up against it. So the fact that they're staying here is just chef's kiss perfection. All right, what you got? Bringing in a Metagross, great. We're gonna retreat with energy, seeing that we have two counters to that. Snorlax is pretty safe. There's nothing that's necessarily gonna just shut it down unless it's uh, Machamp, but even we can retaliate against that. Dragonite, no problem at all. This is looking like a win, real good. So remember that the Primarina does have energy ready to go quite a bit as a matter of fact. And we still have a whole Excadrill in the back just holding on, hanging on, just chilling. Did they just under tap? Did they just under tap or something? All right, anyway, swapping into our pre marina, immediately going for the disarming voice. They're using their shield. Yeah, let's go. As soon as they see Excadrill, I do believe they back out. No, no, okay. Maybe they just were tapping on it so they couldn't have that reaction yet. Earthquake and. All right, yeah, they're going to just keep on fighting here. They got a lot of energy. I'm shielding it up. I don't give a damn what it is. All right, Meteor Mash, and we're going for that drill run, and we're going to take the win with our Excadrill. Uh, yeah, this is definitely another one of those solid Pokemon because, again, it's great for raids and, and great for uh, gyms. Uh, and that's a gym. It's, it's good for raids and it's good for PvP. And it's easy to find. Easily accessible. So, definitely worth it. Uh, and it's got a shiny, which looks absolutely amazing. I was not able to find it. All right, we got a Togekiss out here. All right. Nothing really fears this. As a matter of fact, the backline handles this quite easily. So we'll go ahead and just let it go down, playing this whole same song and dance where we have them shield up and we let it go. Bringing an Excadrill here. We're going to call an Ancient Power. We're going to get a little brave. All right, since we called that... Oh, they got the boost. Okay. Okay, we're going to kind of top ourselves off on the energy here. Take this thing, boosted Togekiss out. We're still holding on to two shields and energy and a Snorlax. Weak to fighting, so a Haxorus is going to be bad. Bring it in their own Snorlax. That's going to be a little trouble. Especially a non-Shadow one. Regular. Oh my gosh, these things are tanky as hell. All right, so we're going to go ahead and bring in our own retreating with energy on the Excadrill while we're still holding on to two shields. They're going to be going for a body slam. See, here's the thing about this mirror match. It can get very tricky. If they go for superpower to lower their defense and attack, it's going to do a lot to you, but you can almost let it go. If you know you'll survive with a, just a sliver of health because of that lick, it's not doing very much damage, especially after the attack drop. So we're playing chicken with each other. Nobody's throwing it until he swaps into it with a Metagross. I'll go ahead and throw it now. I uh, probably should have just held on to that, to be honest with you. But at least we're in the clear to one-shot the Metagross now with the drill run. They bring back their Snorlax, and uh, we're looking really good here. And uh, yeah... Should be able to take this win. Last 
Do we still have two shields right now? Oh my gosh, we really do. Okay, taking that win. Looking good. Thank you, Excadrill and team. Next battle, Dragonite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, swapping into Gyarados with Waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, always puts a smile on my face. I'm like, all right, girl, get ready. We're, we're going to get a 4 1 or a 5 0. Oh. We're going to have some yummy treats. You ready, good girl? She's in the room. And she's, I'm surprised she didn't even look at me. All right. So <laughs> she's like, yeah, damn straight. Uh, anyways. What do we got going on here? Gyarados. I think we're good to farm them down. Oh, yeah. Come out of this with a lot of energy and threaten whatever they have. Was that Dragonite? So we're going to go ahead and just start throwing this one and a half, two and a half body slams that we have here. There's one. Oh, no, just two. That's okay. Still doing what we need to do here and not much health for them to farm. And we're looking great. Prima Marina is still in the back here. Going to go ahead and uh, let this go and put all our hope into Excadrill back there. I mean, we're still in the yellow with this thing anyways. What you got? What you got? Show me what's good to eat. A Togekiss immediately swapping into the Excadrill. Now, I'm going to tell... Uh, never mind. I'm not going to tell you. Sorry. Uh, and I got too many people out here. You know, if I tell too much... We're going to farm this down. Look at that. Oh, yeah. They're like, you got to be freaking kidding me. You can farm me down. <laughs> There's a trick to winning this Togekiss matchup. Um, maybe I should. Mm, uh, never mind. Anyway, see, there's too many people ready to stick a knife in my back. Can't express or uh, say too much on how my game style is. All right, next battle we got Togekiss. Okay, okay, we already know what this is like. We're gonna lose it inevitably because usually they shield up. They don't want to get hit by this disarming voice. If they use, if they let it go, then that's fine too. That's no problem. That's just going to make sure that we can farm them down even easier with whatever we bring in. All right, we're going to let it go. You already know what the drill is here. And I, it t depends on... I could go Excadrill. I could go Snorlax. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Snorlax here. And yeah, they're usually going to have about one HP. So they're getting to another Ancient Power. And we're about half in the yellow. It's not too great. And this is a Waterfall Gyarados. So... Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to take this thing out. It, uh, it's got one shield. All right, they've got one shield using that last shield. So why we're swapping here is because that's the play. We've got them low enough to get to Rock Slide to one-shot them and then come out of this with the shield. So that was the play, period. If you, if I did not do that, it, it wouldn't have been a win. We, we would have probably lost. They would have built up too much energy. Excadrill, we have enough energy. We're ahead, so we're going for the drill run and we're taking the win. And uh, there you go. That's why we swapped right about then. You got to jump into that even if you're weak to the water sometimes. All right. So Excadrill, horrible leads. So we're swapping into Snorlax as it is the safest option. Because if I bring in Excadrill, they can just, you know, bring in... Uh, the biggest threat is usually uh, Gyarados with Waterfall, right? Uh, you get your fighters from time to time, but you don't really need to worry about those too often. Uh, so here we are. Okay, so... Florges. Yeah, you know, it could be a little issue. It's not too big of a problem for the team, but it can kind of outpace Snorlax because it's hard hitting freaking Moonblast and it's damn fast charge uh, quick move. So Fairy Wind is, is amazing on it. It's a great Pokemon, that's for sure. All Fairy moves, usually. So uh, bringing in Excadrill, and since we, you know, have all Fairy moves on their Pokemon, we're going to be able to just let it go. I This was a little ambitious, I do believe. Yeah. But hey. We're exchanging all, all this for energy, so I guess it works out. So we're going to go ahead and go for Drill Run. Drill Run, what was that? Their own Excadrill. That was their last shield, so that's about a wrap. We're going to KO them here. What you got? Oh, wait, no, never mind. Okay, pay attention, Poke. Okay, so now what we have to worry about is them catching this Drill Run. So check it out, check it out, and we're good to go. Don't know if their switch clock is up. Wasn't paying attention. Going for the Drill Run, taking them out. In comes Togekiss, we get to the Rock Slide, and then we're going to swap into the Pre-Marina and finish this off and take the win here, and we're going to be looking good. Folks, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to keep the videos pumping out, so have notifications on, and take care.
Hey! So you're finally here! <laughs> Fantastic! You will see.